Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I have a review for you of, um, and a, a, not really a review, I didn't burn them yet, but kind of like a preview uh, analysis of the new, uh, by Aldi, here in the States at least, this was released um, in the UK, I believe, last year, and everybody in the UK went nuts over it. Um, it is a collection of three candles, and they are essentially dupes of Joe Malone. So if you're not familiar with, with who Joe Malone is as a company, they are a British fragrance house, and they do a lot of high-end perfumes, um, just a lot of high-end fragrances like candles, perfumes, uh, they do diffusers, I think, um, bath and body stuff, I'm looking at their website now, it's, it's crazy, and uh, a candle this size, I'm going to show you the back of it, is uh, $65 to $85 um, from Joe Malone. Which to me is a little crazy to pay, in my opinion, is out of my price range to pay for a seven ounce candle. I'm not paying sixty five dollars to eighty five dollars for a candle this size. I don't even know if I was paying sixty five dollars. Yeah, if it were like one hundred twenty ounces, maybe. But uh, anyhow, so these are there's three candles. Um, there's black pomegranate, and if you've ever seen Joe Malone, these are exact dupes essentially down to the style um everything to the names it's it's crazy uh and then we have english pear and freesia right there it's not focusing for some reason but that's okay and then we have my favorite lime basil and mandarin i believe that is their signature scent signature hmm, so good and i'll have the, the black bows on there and that's the same thing that Joe Malone does. They the the same vessel, the same label essentially. If you look at their website, same label, um, except that Aldi put their Huntington Home uh, name on it. But other than that, they're they're dupes. They're they're essentially dupes, and they are uh, six dollars and ninety nine cents for seven ounces. Uh, about a forty five hour burn time, and even in the uh, Aldi advertisements. Um, they, they specifically compare it to Joe Malone and they actually have a picture of a Joe Malone candle. I don't know how they got away with that. I don't know how they got away with, with styling of it, to be honest with you. I have no idea. I mean, that's just a flat out, flat out copy. So, uh, let's get into it. So black pomegranate is Aldi's version of pomegranate noir. That's the only one out of three here that has a different name. And I'm not sure why, but... Anyhow, I'm going to read you the description that Joe Malone has on their website. Now, these are not Joe Malone candles, but they are they are dupes. So, let's see. And uh, I have smelled um, lime basil and mandarin in a Nordstrom, and that's, that's spot on. So, uh, I can only imagine that these other two are spot on or close to it. Either way, I'm going to give you my impressions of it. So... The Pomegranate Noir says, The sensuality of a daring red dress. Ruby rich juices of pomegranate, raspberry, and plum are spiked with pink pepper and laced with Casablanca lily. Spicy woods. Dark and enigma. Yeah, um, enigmatic. Sorry. To uplift, to wind down, or simply add an air of luxury. Transform the atmosphere uh, with luxury. Candle burn times 45 minutes. And then the three notes. There's only three notes listed in here. Uh, pomegranate, Casablanca lily, and... Weariac wood. I don't know how you pronounce that. But anyhow, what's this candle smell like? A really heavy, uh, not sweet, but a more bitter pomegranate. Like bitter, Pomegranate can be bitter, can be sweet. This is a really, really bitter pomegranate. It's a dark, dark, bitter pomegranate. It's very, um, does feel high end. Don't get me wrong, it does, does feel very high end. Oh, it's heavy though. It's dark. Uh, this is not for me. So this one is not for me. And I didn't get a good wax pour. I mean, like crappy wax pour in this one. That was just me. I for some reason I thought there were four cents. So I literally like rummaged through all of them stacked up trying to find four cents. But no, there's only three. Uh, silly me. So uh, and it had, they have the black bows. Like I said, the black bows on top. So. And then we have, uh, what do we have here? We have English Pear and Phrygia. This is really nice. This is really, really nice. It's it's fresher. Um, 
Joe Malone says it's an autumn scent, and pears can be autumn scents. Um, like uh, Slatkin and Co.'s Bartlett pear. Oh, it's amazing. Mm. But the Freesia, it has the floral note to it. So let's see. What does Joe Malone say about this guy? The essence of autumn, the sensuous freshness of just ripe pears, is wrapped in a bouquet of white freesias and mellowed by amber, patchouli, and woods. Luscious and golden to uplift to wind down. You know, same thing as before, 45 hours. Three notes on this. King William pear, um, freesia, and patchouli. I don't get the patchouli in this if they're, you know, this kind of a dupe. This is just pear and floral is all I'm really getting at. This is a very pear and not, you know how they, how there's some scents could be the pear skin versus the actual juicy pear. This is more along the lines of that juicy pear, not necessarily the pear skin. And the freesia, so it has, it's the fruity floral, kind of like what Harry Slacken does, the fruity floral. Um, it's nice, it's nice. Decent pull, or decent, uh, decent pour there, one wick. And, uh, it's a soft wax, it's not, it's actually a very, very soft wax. It doesn't say what wax it is on the bottom. It just says, um, you know, seven ounces, made in the USA, Joe Malone's made in the UK. Uh, this is main USA here. Um, exact same vessel. Got the the thick, uh, you know, empty space there. So now my favorite out of them. I actually bought two of these. Um, and from what I gather, like I said before, this is Joe Malone's signature fragrance. So, so good. This is Mandarin. Or I'm sorry, lime basil and Mandarin. I love citrus candles. Um. Anything with a lime or an orange or a fresh lemon in it. Um, and then adding a little bit of herbs in there with the thyme and the basil in this. Oh. So this is really, really good. Um, what does what do they say about this? Our signature fragrance. Uh, peppery basil and aromatic white thyme bring an unexpected twist to the scent of limes on a Caribbean breeze. A modern classic. I can get that sea breeze air. I can certainly get that. But what I get is heavy, heavy hit of lime, very heavy hit of lime, followed by the thyme, and the thyme has, uh, thyme kind of has like a lemony, lemony uh, fragrance to it there, almost like a lemongrass. Mm. But this, this would definitely, um, like. If you were to compare this to like a uh, essential oil or aromatherapy candle, um, I would say this is kind of like the energy candle from Bath and Body Works, where it's just like you just smell this and bam, you're like uplifted, right? Like definitely, definitely makes you feel happy. Um, this candle makes you feel happy, and I will burn this one for sure. Black pomegranate, you're probably going back. Sorry. Just, just can't handle it. It's don't get me wrong. It's not a bad fragrance. It's not like disgusting or anything. It's it does feel very luxurious. Um, like you don't see a Yankee Candle doing it. You don't see a Bath and Body Works doing a, a, a fragrance like that. Um, because it's not that. I don't think it's their market. This is very really more of a high end, high end uh, candle. English pear and freesia. You know, it kind of has that, um, it is very perfumey as well. So I could see uh, someone walking around with, with a perfume wearing this. I, I know I've, I feel like this is a scent I've smelled over the years, you know, whether being somewhere uh, at a restaurant or somebody, a restaurant, someplace like that, and somebody was wearing this perfume or uh, a dupe of this perfume. I feel like this is definitely. Um, a sophisticated woman's um, perfume. And this is just whew, uplifting to all craziness. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, um, and the other thing I wanted to show you here from Aldi. Ugh. Let's see, here we go. Is this warmer? Um, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I have heard mixed reviews over this warmer. Um, it's 40 watts. Uh, 40 watt... Um, Vintage style bulb. 
I was talking to Doug at Spooky Villages uh, tonight, and he got this one. And for some reason, he says it's not. Uh, it won't melt a Yankee tart, like completely at all. It just kind of stays kind of mushy. Uh, and then even some of the soft wax, he said he had an issue with, um, where it was getting some pieces were not melting; they were getting hard. So. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. There is apparently three styles. There's a wood one, which stay away from. I heard that's not doing good at all. And the one I'm, I'm hearing is doing the best, and I didn't see it at mine. At least I didn't look for it, um, is a mason jar one. And it's $7.99. So, I mean, if you're looking for a good rustic warmer, um, the mason jar one will probably be your best bet from what I'm hearing. But the, even just for decoration, the light looks awesome. So... I don't know what I'm doing this yet, but, um, you know, we'll figure that out. So that is what I have for you right now. I have coming up, I have a fall preview from Yankee Candle. I do have one of their new fall fragrances in a large jar. Um, and then I have Otherland, um, company Otherland from uh, Brooklyn, New York. I have their all three of their new uh, spring fragrances they just released the other day. So I have a lot of content coming out. Uh, now that we're kind of in that post-homeworks phase for right now, uh, until Christmas in July. So, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, give me some thumbs up. Click the, click, click the thumbs up button on the bottom there. And, um, you know, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know. Have you tried these? Um, have you tried the real Joe Malone? Do you have both and have any kind of thoughts to offer? So let me know. I appreciate um, everybody for watching. So uh, I will see you again real soon. So thanks again. Have a good one.